I'm oh, sorry if you've woken you up. I was still awake at ten to five, actually. Worrying about Mam. Fat lot of good that'll do her. I'm going to talk to Dev and Steve. Ask them to drop the charges. What? Well, just like that. I'm reminded that they owe her. Plus she can sue. Character assassination, whatever. Oh, God's really going to win around. Look who's asking for your opinion. Hey. Uh, well, you know how you nearly killed my daughter and nearly lost us our flat? Look, Sarah, I said I'm sorry till I'm blue in the face. Yeah, well, Bethany was blue in the face. Thanks to the short circuit in your brain. That's bang out of order, that. Hello? You need to sort your loyalties out. If Tony was any kind of man, he'd go down to the cop shop. It's down to Deb, me mum's locked up, the tow rag. People get a bit of narky when they're 700 quid down. Funny, that. They've been paid back. It's not like he planned it. Makes no odds to mum. I know. Right. So you're gonna have to blow a whistle on him? Grass on me own dad. Todd, I can't. Well, I'll have to do the honours then. You'll do nothing. I'll sort it. You'll tell him it was Tony? I said I'll sort it. They want a scalp, Jason. Make sure it's not me, mums. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Life of Riley or what? Uh, sticking around for. <clears throat> yeah. wonder what Sarah and Bethany are having. I don't know whatever the rats left, I suppose. Oh, don't. Mum, they're fine. I just want them home. What? Nothing. It's just it could take a little longer than we thought, that's all. What happened? Sarah had a bit of a kick-off. At you? Yeah, she caught me sneaking Bethany out of here yesterday. Sneaking? I'm a grandmother. It's me she's angry at this time. No, she's not. You just got caught in the crossfire. Don't worry, she'll get over it. I have a right to see my granddaughter. Yes, Mum, I know, but... Social services wasn't exactly your best move. You think it was easy for me picking up the phone? Bethany's welfare had to come first. What? At least be honest. You thought if you kicked up enough of a fuss, they might end up back here. I did what I had to do. I put Bethany first. Well, now we're both in the doghouse, OK? you'd escape to London. I decided to stick around for a bit. Oh, I bet Mum's well got the red carpet oh, out. Sarah, don't be like that. Sarah! Look, if you pull any more stuff... Well, I'm out. sorry to interrupt you, Sarah, when you're yakking, but that cloth needs to be put in that water. It's not touching that grease. OK! I'll have two coffees when you've got a minute. Oh, are you in your invisible mate? Mm. Very cosy. John. OK, I should have asked first. I'm sorry. What was Beth like this morning? Grandma this, Grandma that. Is that so terrible? Well, yes, actually, it is when Grandma is sticking the knife in. I mean, a phone bill lists social services as friends and family. Yes, and that was well out of order, but she knows it. She's really cut up about it. Look, I have only got ten minutes. Can we talk about something nice, please? OK, if you let Mum look after Bethany for a few hours here and there, then you and Todd can spend some quality time together. And if our shifts clash... And let's face it, they will. We might be really glad of the help. No way. Absolutely no way. I'm not leaving my daughter with the woman who tells social services I'm an unfit mother. And I'm not having this conversation again. 